Okay, let's get started. I'm going to drop the geometry object and name it scattering basics. Let's go into it and drop a grid here. Now we are going to scatter some points on the grid. Let's drop a scatter sock and connect it here. Yeah, we got some scattered points. Let's look at the scatter sock parameters here. So I'm not going to go over everything, but I'll just show you a few of them. So here we have post count. It says how many points you want to generate. And this is the maximum limit of points it can generate. So let's say I put 100 here, it won't generate more than 100 points. Right now I put 122 here, but as you can see, we have only 99 points as per this geometry spreadsheet. So if I increase the limit to 150, you can see this updates and creates more points to match this number. So this is kind of a restriction to this number to save your PC from crashing in case if you accidentally increase the number so that's really useful let's go to the relax iterations now as you can see these points are avoiding each other so that's what this relax iteration is doing if you disable this you can see they collapse uh, like the the distribution of the points is more random and like more uh, clumpier so if i enable this relax iteration you can see the points gets relaxed as I increase the value here. That's basically it. It just relaxes the points to avoid colliding each other. This is the global seed attribute. This is basically used to randomize the distribution of your points here. The number doesn't matter. You can keep any number here. Like any number. It will just produce a different result. My point number doesn't change, only the position of the point and the order is going to change. Those are the some of the most useful parameters of the scatter sop. Okay, let's go into the next chapter.